Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, Tuesday of the second week of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 3, verses 7b through 15. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, Jesus says to Nicodemus, You must be born again. And this concept of being born again or born from above introduces a radical transformation that goes way beyond our physical rebirth. It's a spiritual rebirth that's initiated by the Holy Spirit. This new birth is not a literal return to the womb as Nicodemus mistakenly interprets. It's a spiritual awakening to the kingdom of God. And what's interesting is that it marks a transition from an existence that's defined by our flesh to a life that's really governed by the Spirit. This new life that we'll receive is a spiritual gift. In our meditation today, let's consider what is the spiritual gift that each of us desire during this Easter season? What's the new life that we desire? This Easter season is a time of miracles and new life, and we can literally see the trees and the plants blossoming around us, especially those of us who live in the Northeast. They're all coming to life again, blossoming and sharing their beauty with us. Well, today, let's trust that God will give us new life. We may know exactly what we want, but God may choose to give us an unexpected gift, and that may not be exactly what we asked for, but it will bless us in ways that we can't possibly imagine if we open ourselves to the Spirit. As we reflect on this passage today, let's consider the state of our faith. Are we like Nicodemus who's coming to Jesus with questions and seeking to understand Let's remember, Nicodemus ultimately believed in Jesus, but he was not publicly supportive until after Christ's death. Are we brave enough to declare our faith in Christ, and are we open to the radical transformation that the Spirit offers us? The journey of faith is one of continual rebirth, where we're called to die to our old selves and to be made new in the image of Christ. Just like yesterday when we talked about Mary's fiat, she had to continue to say yes throughout her life and we're called to do the same. So let's keep our minds and our eyes and our hearts open for this transformation. And so today, let's pray and seek the Spirit's renewal day by day and trust in the saving work of Jesus on the cross.
We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.